the Notre Dame's been in a a slump. Yeah, yeah. They never. The, they have not sunk to the point though where they've lost the Colorado School of Mimes. No, that, that's that not has happening. never happened. Greg, is that your understanding as well? So here we are, early in the first quarter, the Colorado School of Mimes taking on North Dakota. No score. Twelve minutes left in the first quarter. Actually, we haven't run a play yet. As the School of Mimes receive possession in the first half, and they're pretending that they can't find the ball. Finally, the officials force them to line up, and we're ready to start a play. I don't know how he's going to get this started, as he is not using his voice. He's miming out some sort of call. And the center snaps on the ball. Now the quarterback has the ball, and yes, he's walking against the wind. This is awful. Walks against the wind. Oh, now, now he hands the ball to the halfback. We may have some. Now the halfback's pretending that he's trapped inside of a glass box. Yes, he's feeling around an imaginary glass box. And uh, the defender's just baffled. They don't know if they can tackle him. They're afraid of this glass box. And now another one of the mimes is gesturing as if he has a lasso. He's corralled the halfback and is pulling him into the sidelines. This imaginary lasso play again every week with the imaginary lasso. Doesn't this get old? And oh, the halfback forced out of bounds. It will be second down and 14. This is crap. Well, take a break. <laughs> North Dakota, nothing. Colorado School of Mimes, nothing. Every week. <laughs> is there the um, same place. <laughs> is there time for another point about Claus in the Yes, later? there's time. I will. Um, I'll, Greg's I'll, eating. <laughs> Art voice in there is having some peanuts. Go ahead. <laughs> I want to call him Art voice from now on. That's perfect. I love that. <laughs> Maybe they would pick Barry Sanders. Yeah, or a lousy receiver. <laughs> or Charles Rogers. <laughs> Charles that Rogers. would be appropriate. Mike Williams from USC. <laughs> Do that. Because they're the Lions. Maybe they would pick someone from the Colorado School of Mines. Mines. Ten seconds left in the fourth quarter. There'll be one more play for North Dakota. They're down six points to the Colorado School of Mines. Thompson under center. Takes the ball. Looks back. He's got Wagner down the right side of the field, and he hits him. He's open. Wagner running for the end zone. He's at the 40. The 30, the 20, the 10. Oh, my God. Oh, he found the mine. Oh, Wagner hit the mine and was blown to pieces. Colorado School of Mines falls on the ball. They'll regain possession and win the game. Damn, that home field advantage comes in handy every time. Wagner being shoveled off the field. This one's over. Post game coming up. They had to use a special ball that wouldn't explode. It's just the worst damn thing ever. You should have Lord seen North Almighty. You should have seen North Dakota's schedule that year. They played the Colorado School of Mines, the Colorado School of Mimes, the Colorado School of Mathletes. They played all kinds of different crazy schools, and they went winless. I think that year they went winless. Mines, mimes, mines. Was, they played the School of Mines too. North Dakota. That was the same year. No, no, I'm saying mines. Oh, four. Mines. Yeah. A thrilling game we have going here. North Dakota against the Colorado School of Mines. We've got Professor X playing quarterback. And during the break, he was making the entire left side of the stadium levitate with mind control. It's unbelievable. I've never seen anything like that before. And here we are, third and 15. The entire Colorado School of Mines offense with their fingers on the temple. And they're borrowing some sort of psychic power into the minds of the North Dakota defensive team, and they're just rolling around on the ground in tremendous pain. Some sort of psychic attack going on here, and now the halfback has the ball, and he's just running up the field untouched. North Dakota unable to do anything with this crippling mind play. I've never seen anything like this in all of my broadcast career. Colorado School of Mines is up 7 nothing, and I think this one's over. Post game coming up. The modulation on that broadcast was mm-hmm. off. Yeah, that happens. They had an easy game after that, though. They played the school of hair design. So we're back here on the fourth quarter. North Dakota thrashing the Colorado school of hair design. Colorado's quarterback Thompson back to pass the gun, and he's sacked. Sacked on the play immediately. His helmet comes off. 
and he's been sacked 14 times today, but damn does his hair look good. Just a healthy, fresh-cut head of hair on this Thompson. He's a good-looking kid. They really know their hair at Colorado. Post game coming up. <laughs> I forgot all about that. We done? They really do know <laughs> their hair. Jeez, oh, there you go. All right. Who are the Bills going to pick? <laughs> Serious football talk. A tackle. In, in both Rochester and here, right?